And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. Absolutely freezing out here because I woke up and it is 14 degrees where I currently live. So shout out to everybody in warm weather that's going to jump in the comments. Like, bro, it's 75 over here. I don't care. You live in Oklahoma. Who gives a shit? Anyways, NBA 75 packs are here. So they just dropped the prime time and they're just NBA 75 packs. Oh, they're super packs. This is quite interesting. I did not know this. So these have all the NBA 75 players in them. Oh, and apparently Clyde Drexler. I'm really confused, but they're 10,500 with 2% 95 plus odds. These are the awesome. I mean, I'm dead serious. The pack odds are probably going to be terrible, but at the same time, like these are super tight. Wow, these are really going to crash out the market too. Wait, I'm confused. Are the new cards even in here? Yeah, Larry Bird's right here. Anyways, we got some new cards. We got Larry Bird. Um, I think that's it for Pink Diamonds that are new, right? I, I think so. Let me look at 2KDB because I don't feel like scrolling through this entire list. So we got Larry Bird. We also have a Moments Duel Embiid. We have Patrick Ewing. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, Jonas Valchunas, Sabonis, DeMontis Sabonis, of course, because I told you... 2K cannot go a month without releasing a DeMontis Sabonis card. I swear it's impossible for them. Big Pat, who I talked about, Jaron Jackson Jr., um, Amethyst, Isaiah Thomas, NBA 75, Desmond Bain, and Terrence Davis. So with that being said, let's open some packs. I don't know. I think this is kind of a, this is a cool pack. I mean, you can pretty much get anything. This will crash the market on everything. That being said, should you open them? I mean, I got to holographic d rob i mean i'm gonna swap from the set certainly and i got uh terrence davis i have no idea who terrence davis is i'll be completely honest with you guys like usually i'm not the greatest guy in regards to nba players anyway but i specifically have no idea who that guy is i mean shout out to him he got a moments card dude he's probably pretty decent i know right now i look like the guy your dad bought mids from from the comic book store in 1998 but i promise it's just because i just woke up and i need to shave i got masked westbrook and regular westbrook did i just get a double westbrook pack interesting okay so far we're like four packs in it's not really worth it i would say but for 10,500, i think it's actually worth it maybe that's just 2k kind of just <laughs> raising the price of packs so much that i'm sitting here like super downtrodden just beat down i'm like yeah ten thousand five hundred, dude that's like such a good pack price two percent odds those are so good just because everything else has been so terrible i kind of feel like that's what's been happening right now yeah i mean i'm like five packs in basically and i have gotten realistically nothing but i'm going to still tell you these are mo the most worth it packs i've seen besides the super packs that we got for black friday there we go give me something oh there that's not really what I meant. But cool. Is this Desmond Bain? Yes. You know, I'm kind of upset, though. Last year, Desmond Bain had Ray Allen base, and this year he has, like, some random base. I can't remember what it was. Um, I mean, maybe it's good. It's Jump Shot 83. Only him and some dude named Herbert Jones, who sounds like an endgame beast, have it. Release 17 upper, same as, like, Sean Kemp. Okay. I mean, he looks good. He doesn't have any defensive badges, but he looks like a fun card. I'm going to keep opening, though, dude. At this point, like, it's what it... Whatever. All I've gotten is an Amethyst so far. That's two George Gervins in a row. At this point, I just feel like I, I should stop pulling George Gervins, but, you know, 2K will do what 2K will do. So, what are we, like, eight packs in? I don't know. Like I said, I think these are the most worth it packs we've seen in a while as far as opening. I mean, you can get any card that's basically came out to a certain extent, at least a very expanded roster of cards that have come out throughout the time. I'll talk more about it at the end of the video on like how worth it these packs actually are. 2% odds are not good, but at this point with what 2K has been giving us, I mean, they're not terrible or they're on par. I got masked LeBron. Great. They should crash the market on a lot of cards, though. I mean, I don't think a lot of these guys were really expensive to begin with, but any of the Amethyst and Below guys, if they weren't already cheap, they're about to be cheap. Um, that's for sure. I just I just want like a diamond or something. That would be fantastic. 
I don't know how much these are going to crash the market on diamonds and pink diamonds, though, because the odds don't seem that great, considering I've opened about 13, I think, at this point, and have only pulled one amethyst. I mean, my pack odds aren't really the best anyway, but I just feel like I, I should have got something at this point. Like, what is the actual percentage of diamonds here? I mean, it's only a 14%. That's a 14% the is solid, dude. And there's like a thousand diamonds in these packs, bro. I, I feel like at some point, my luck has to come, right? Like I've opened almost, if not 15 packs by this point. Like I have gotten one shake. <laughs> come on, dude. This is messed up, actually. Like you're actually being rude to me right now. I've opened 150,000 worth of packs. So yeah, roughly about 15. And I've gotten one shake. Is that Vinny? Look at my boy looking suave, dude. Look at this man. You know he was clapping cheeks back in his first days. Probably not. He was actually married. He looks wholesome. Or he looks like... I don't know. You can't tell. All right, dude. I'm getting upset right now. It's not exactly the shake that I wanted. Gordon Hayward. What's up, dog? What do we got? Point guard, Eastern, 11, Kyrie. Oh, wait. Kyrie. Isaiah Thomas, NBA 75, whatever. I mean, I'll do the XP for him. He'll be really cheap. I think the other IT might fall in price, too, because I think he's in these packs as well. Come on, dude. I got to get lucky at some point, right? These packs are just eating my MT. Dude, I just like... It's so frustrating. I, I finally say good things about these packs. I wake up and I'm like, you know what? These packs are actually pretty tight. These packs are worth it. Like, I like what's going on here. And then I don't pull shit. Of course, that's what happens. The one time I'm positive. It's not like I have the best pack luck anyway, but Jesus Christ, 2K. How do I open 20 something packs and I pull like one amethyst, dude? These are. I was going to say that these are probably worth opening, but I really don't know if they are at this point. The odds are like kind of a lie, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Like, I don't know. Thank you. <clears throat> Just going to be another amethyst. I like coughed. I'm so upset. This is so frustrating. <laughs> this is so frustrating. It's just Isaiah Thomas again. Ugh. All right. This is really annoying. These packs. Yeah, I would say, you know what? If you want to open a few, I think these are worth it. But the odds are horrendous on these. Like, I've literally opened like 200,000 MT worth of packs. And I haven't pulled a single diamond, which is crazy. Maybe I'm just having a rough pack day. I'm not entirely sure. There, is that something? Can I have something now? God, no! <sighs> is this just base set Sam Jones? I'm so unamused right now. I am so unamused. This is so frustrating. This is the worst, dude. <laughs> like, come on. At some point, you have to... Dude, I can't even make any of my MT back. I think that's what the frustrating part really is. Like, Oh, now I'm on a little streak here. Oh, my... Come on, dude. Take the fucking Amethyst Shakes out of the game. Take them out of the game. I'm tired of it. I know I did not wake up early for this three right now. Isaiah Thomas again, dude. He's going to be like 2,000 MT. Literally, he'll be like buyout price. I, yeah, don't open any of these packs, dude. Don't reward 2K for this. This is stupid. I know you're going to be enticed to open these packs, but like, look at what's happening to me right now. I got an ornament ball. Finally, literally 30 packs in it took. And it's going to be it's going to be somewhat stupid. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, 30 packs. I, I waited for a diamond and I got one that's 30,000 MT. Are packs worth it in this game? Never. Literally never. Ever. Ever, 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 ever are they worth it. If you want to open a couple for funsies, go ahead. Don't expect to make your MT back, though. Like, ever. Jesus Christ. Yeah, all right. So I spent 200 and 
75,000 on this pack opening. And I don't know if I even make 100K back with what I got. That's that's how bad these packs are. Don't open these packs. To be honest, don't even play this game. I would just I would just play something else. Uh, Cause this game is ridiculous. And uh, yeah, it's been your boy Cheap Ludes. I'll look at the new cards and see like, this is what I got to show for my, my stuff here. Dude, how many times do I gotta put this in my collection, bro? Uh, you guys really do not want me to have the holographic one I see. Okay, cool. Awesome, anyways. Yeah, look at look at all these base set guys. I didn't even get like really that many NBA series one guys, which I mean I don't really care regardless. But like at the end of the day, look at how many packs I open. Look how much I, like it's frustrating. You know, I try to be positive when it comes to these pack openings, or at least like not that mad, but I it's just impossible sometimes. Like it, it's so impossible. Yeah, good. Okay, cool. 10 minutes in Sabonis is already only 40k so I literally make absolutely nothing so I just lost 250k MT for no reason see you know when you guys come in here and you're like well why don't you just buy a better team why don't you just buy a better team Sabonis is 19,000 and the packs have been out for like 11 minutes I hate every single one of you Any, anybody who puts Sabonis up for this little like I dislike you already like really the mar you you guys tank the market so hard on this card that he's 13,000 11 minutes. It's gonna fucking keep him. It's just like no point. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, I mean we could see a drop, like a dramatic drop off in a lot of these cards though. Just because they're in the I don't know exactly what's in the packs, but alter ego guys are. I don't know. Durantula's in there. I don't think many of him are gonna drop. I can't imagine anyway. Uh, anyways, what are they? Just all moments cards or something? Yeah, and then NBA 75s. There's supposedly a lot of Embiid's, though I've never seen one, obviously. So I don't know what he's going to settle at. Probably 200, 300K, I would guess. Um, yeah, Sabonis is going to be like 9K, like tops. He might be a decent card to invest in. Um, it just kind of depends how low he's going to go. Jaron Jackson as well. I think he'll go pretty low. He's a little bit more hyped up, so I'm sure he'll stay closer to like 30 or 40k at least temporarily i would really like to get him i'll probably pick him up later um who else there was somebody else in here right i thought there was another diamond i guess i could probably just check 2k db right oh yeah jonas valshunas yeah where is he at i'm curious as to what he's going for to be honest see i'm in a better mood already uh yeah Actually, he's holding more value than I thought. Sabonis is holding absolutely no value. I mean, Valchunas really isn't either. He might be one of the better budget centers in the game, to be honest. Like, looking at Valchunas, I'm probably going to do a market video later anyway, but Hoff catch and shoot, Hoff corner, brick wall, box, set shooter. Pretty solid Hoff badges for a center. Um, and he's also got some good gold badges too, like a lot of like interior badges, but he's also got blinders and gold limitless spot up. Dream Shake, Clutch Shooter, he's got Hot Zone Hunter, Grace Under Pressure, which is solid. Um, Hustler, he can get a lot of the badges that you really need him to have upgraded as well. And like his jump shot is set shot 16, which is not bad. It's the same jumper as like Tom Chambers, um, the GOAT himself, Kurt Rambis, also Bobby Jones. With Bill Lambeer Upper, which Bill Lambeer Upper is not terrible. That's not like the bad part of Bill Lambeer based, you know what I mean? Um, it's actually pretty decent. So maybe Valshunas, if his price gets low enough and you're looking for a big man on the cheap, you could do a lot worse than Valshunas, honestly. Like, he does need a few defensive badge upgrades to really make him, like, contendable. But he's also 6'11", 7'3". Like, he doesn't have Intimidator, though, and Rim Protector. Those are two badges I would absolutely be looking to add to him. Menace, Intimidator, Rim Protector. Certainly, if you're going to add any defensive badges to him, for sure. And if you're looking at shooting badges, you can't really add any other ones, but he's got a good, solid foundation of them anyway. Pretty much the only badges you can add are like tight handles, triple threat, unpluckable, all the defensive badges, fade ace, which isn't a terrible one, uh, mouse in the house, fast twitch I would probably add to him too. I don't know, either way, he looks good. Like, you know, all things together all things together all things said anyways let's look at my boy desmond bain he's got to be like 
buyout price. I mean, he's one of those cards that if you want to buy him, why is he like almost more expensive than uh, Diamante Sabone is? Oh man, I don't, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, he's good though. I don't know about his release. I'm gonna have to go mess with it, but he's got a solid stable of gold shooting badges. I, I don't know. He looks okay. And then where is Terrence Davis? Is Terrence Davis? If you want to use him? Go ahead. Now let's look at the NBA 75 cards. Um, who did we get today? No 1970s. They have not been giving us any 1970s players. Oh, uh, wait. For some reason, I'm not able to uh, search for Larry Bird. I don't know what's up with that. He's in the packs. I saw him, right? But I'm not able to search. It must be glitched. Like, of course it is. Isaiah Thomas is decent. He's basically like the uh, glitch version that doesn't dunk. It's going to be pretty cheap. Patrick Ewing isn't going to be the best center in the world, so I do expect... This card art is fire, though, dude. Look at this. This is so heat. Like, look at this doofy shit on David Robinson. Like, ooh, he's over here grabbing a rebound over a star. That's pretty sad. Look at this. My boy is out here grabbing a board on lava. Like, dude, look at this. He's like, yo, I'm fucking sick. Or has burning charcoal. I mean, Hank Hill probably won't like this card very much, but look at this. This is sick. I might pick him up for the card art alone, to be honest. It's pretty dope. I mean, Ewing's a good defensive center. That's about it, though. But I mean, if that's what you're looking for, he looks fun. I just feel like there was another NBA 75 guy. Was there only the three? I guess there was. Okay. Well, interesting. Well, as is typical Cheap Loots fashion, I am going to open a pack or two to end the video because I am a masochist, apparently, and I love pain, which is why I even play this game at all, I guess. We got another Mass LeBron James and a gold Chris Middleton. These packs are horrendous, dude. Like, I, I'm going to have to nuke my whole collection just to, like, get back to, like, 600K. Yeah, oh, my God, dude. Seriously, why am I doing this to myself? Let's just, I'm going to open like two more and then I just got to stop. Like, bro, what did I do? Like, what did I do wrong? I got to just, I'm going down to 450 because I'm, I, dude, I started with 800K. Yeah. Finally, something. Come on, dude. Well, there's Jaron Jackson. Oh my God, you didn't do this to me. I have no words right now. I just, I just feel like this game. Once you draw something that's bad, you just your chances of drawing it again are increased like a hundredfold. There's just out of all the fucking cards in this game. Yeah, I swore. I don't I don't care. All right. Look, out of all the cards in these packs, you're going to sit here and you're going to tell me on the two diamonds out of the 30 packs that I pulled were both Sabonis. You're going to sit here and you're going to really tell me that that's how your odds work. You're going to tell me your odds work in the way that out of the 20 to 30 diamonds in these packs i got two sabonuses two saboni oh i hate this game i'm out dude subscribe to the channel